up guys i am heading to the funky griddle which is this place that serves pancakes but essentially they give you the batter and the toppings and you get to make it yourself pretty genius business idea if you ask me because then the kitchen doesn't have to cook anything so operational overhead is probably a lot lower than a typical restaurant but a friend of mine told me that they have vegan pancake batter so we're gonna go check it out Future Sinclair popping in. The funky griddle was incredible. It was a super quaint, no frills type restaurant with super friendly service in South Nashville and a really neat concept. Cook your own pancakes, French toast, etc. at the table. They had a vegan gluten-free pancake batter option, which was super fluffy and thick. I would 10 out of 10 recommend if you're visiting Nashville. I went with my friend Mari who Love him, love his energy. He's just like so grounding and calm and yet motivated and insightful. I just absolutely adore him and spending time with him. Now, after the Funky Griddle, I'm headed over to The Forge to get some work done. The Forge is a art nonprofit organization located right outside of downtown Nashville, and they're essentially a maker space. So they offer a lot of tools, resources, and spaces for artists of all kinds. They have a fully stocked wood shop, metal shop, digital fabrication lab with computers loaded with the full Adobe Creative Cloud. They also offer a lot of cool classes like knife forging, weaving, painting, branding for small businesses, and you can actually be a teacher of a class and get 40% of the ticket proceeds minus expenses. I do social media for The Forge, so I get a co-working space for free in exchange for my volunteer services. Next time I'm at The Forge, I'll introduce you guys to the directors, Alyssa and Aaron and David. They are so awesome. Absolutely love working with them. Amazon and Wayfair fairies have dropped off some additional goods for us that I am going to show you guys really quick. And if you don't already know, the reason why we're buying all this is because we're turning the top of our home into an Airbnb for six to eight people so that we can make a little moolah while we are living in the Netherlands. The first thing that we have is this little macrame wall hanging. This is going in the green room. We have one of our rooms that's gonna be decorated with green and orange and I thought this would just be a nice little addition to one of the walls. Next, we have this beautiful embroidered kind of uh, weaved pillow that has reds and blues in it. So this is going to really complement our red and blue room, obviously. Next up, we have these gorgeous like pompous grass type of wheat little flower thingies. And I purchased these vases separately, I believe on Amazon. I'll put all the information um, linked in the description if you guys are interested in buying any of these things but these will just really set the vibe throughout the house. Next up is this literally drop dead gorgeous throw blanket that we'll be using on the couch here in the living room just to give it some pizzazz. As well as this pillow cover. I think this is for the green room as well. We had ordered some extra pillows that I was supposed to return but I like threw out all the packaging stuff so just gonna have to find somewhere to put them. And next we have these like lavender eucalyptus bundles that are supposed to go in your shower and when the shower steams, you get a nice little like sauna spa type of situation. So we thought that would just be super luxe. And a boring thing, this is like to stack the pots and pans or I guess just the pans in our pantry so that they're not just thrown in there looking like a freaking mess. That's it for now, but we still have a shit ton of stuff coming, so I will make sure to continue to do these unboxing slash hauls for you guys. This is my friend Wynn. My friend Sinclair will be joining us shortly, but Wynn and Sinclair are the founders of Sold Creative Collective, which is an organization that curates safe spaces for like-minded creatives to feel heard, valued, and respected. So Sold's mission is essentially to amplify the voices of creatives 
provide resources to help them thrive in their respective industries, and also bring people together to fight the division and exclusivity currently plaguing the Nashville scene. I started as a graphic designer for Sold back in January and quickly transcended into their chief marketing officer over about three to four months. Please enjoy these clips of us attempting to get work done, but actually just laughing and talking the entire time. Just kidding, we got a lot of stuff done today, but it's super top secret, so keep your eyes peeled for an announcement sometime soon.